here. It's your girl Kim B. You are now watching The Blend Exchange. You find out that... Zero question. What if you found out that your, your significant other, your mm -hmm. partner, yeah. was receiving money from someone else, someone that they used to date, or that someone that has some sort of romantic intention or romantic uh, feelings yeah, yeah. for them? How would you feel about that? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with that. I wouldn't want her to be getting money, like... She's not asking for it. Or I know, anything. but it's 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 it, that it makes it even worse. Time, that makes it all, all that, in my opinion. That makes it even worse that she's received that she's taking the money. It's more of a character hit for me. I don't want her just taking the money because she doesn't it, like. She, not that I'm giving her money. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not giving her money, but like she doesn't need that money. And like it's a disrespect to me for you to be receiving money from somebody. <laughs> I'm taking that as disrespect. It's disrespectful. I mean, yeah, me. you can for take you it to that make way. bread, mm -hmm. sure. No, nah, I'm not well, making bread. That's a, that's a way to look at it. Some other nigga. Yeah, like, it's I'm not yeah. making like, bread. On, There's like, a difference. <laughs> Nah, man. She's not taking Listen. the bread, my nigga. She's they're he, giving her the bread, and she's taking. But it. she's not she's making the bread. She's supposed yeah. to send that back. I mean, what do you mean he's? What is? Yo, if a shorty comes up to you like, if a shorty comes up to you like, Crump, you do phenomenal work. Here's a thousand dollars. All right. Are you taking that? Yeah. Okay. So, but what's you the said the, the scenario you said is that she had like the, the Trump. You do phenomenal work. The dude had. The okay, dude had okay, watch in, this. Watch in, this. Intentions of it. wanting to be with the person. Okay. Yeah. You just so, said somebody fucks with my video work no, and no, no, they no, want to pay that. me. I, I didn't say that. Yeah, I said, Crump, you do phenomenal work, and I want to <laughs> get with you. Welcome back to the Blood Exchange. Oh! Throw it up! Throw it up! BX, BX! Episode... 28, baby! 28. We made, listen, we getting there. 28. We almost had a midlife crisis. We getting there, I feel there, like right? that's a good number. Yeah. Whose number was that? Football player, 28. 28? Who's a 28? lot of them. Adrian Peterson. Of... Woo! He's broke now. You saw that? He's like, I'm broke. Give me some famous 28s. Damn, Anything? No. Uh, any ideas? Only fans. Only fans. I mean, it's just sports stuff. I think of twenty eight. Yeah, okay. If you broke well, episode twenty eight, I'm your host, Aim Gunner. Yeah. I have with me my guys, my day ones from the sandbox to the left. I have the one, uh, the only, uh, Crump, woo. aka Crump Diddy, uh, aka Dexter. No, no, mm -mm. no. Aka Vibes. Wow. Serial Killy. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think the fans like that. Aka. So. William H., the all-time great. Yes, sir. Uh, A.K.A. Paper Over People. Hey. How you doing, brother? I'm chilling, chilling, chilling. How Ooh. you doing? Did you uh, choose Paper Over People this week? I always choose Paper Over People. I mean, because Paper stays around longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah you could, money, uh, never, money never uh, disappoints you. It never betrays you, right? Never betrays okay. you. Nope. So put your trust in money. You heard it from Crump. <laughs> take that. Take that to say put your trust in money. Put yes. your trust in money. That's what Crump does. Um, to the right, I have Chia. the man, Chia. the myth, the legend, Woo, thank Pablo, you. Hey. a.k.a. Bleak, yes. uh. a.k.a. Made by Pablo, thank, hey. you, thank, you, thank you, a.k.a. DJ Wavy Seal, <laughs> a.k.a. I'm not letting no pussy pass me because nope. I'm that guy. Yes. <laughs> Easy pass only. Get your ticket. Get your ticket. <laughs> Subscriptions is high. How's the numbers looking right now? Good, man. You laying them, slaying them? Yes, sir. Are you Stevie top 1% in, in, uh, in your... Uh, <laughs> top, well, hell yeah, I'm top 1%. Top 1% creator? So, oh, yeah. so I'm guessing you've been picking up them Stimmy I mean, Turners. Stimmy, Stimmy Turners. Stimmy Turners, baby, all over the place. Okay, okay. So the money's looking right right now. Mm -hmm. You're taking the stimulus is right out their hands. Immediately. As soon as Eunice gets that stimulus, you got it. It gets forward to me. As soon as as soon as uh, Esther picks up that a stimulus, it gets forward. Right from before she goes to bingo night, I got you. Boom. Mm, okay. I get that. I and I'm your up. host, Aim Gunner, uh, aka Gregory Hines, the great the great dance legend. Tap 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 a tap 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 dance. Aka Low Life, aka Horsepower, Brr. aka the real Gunner. Brr. We are back. So guys. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? The end of the Trump era. It's over. It's over. It's over. Woo! Okay, so the end of the Trump era. He's gone, guys. We Biden. made it. Uh, Joe Biden is like a president. Kamala Harris, vice president. Shout out yes. to Jamaica. You know how we do. Let's get it. <laughs> um, 
What, you got a problem with Jamaica? No, I just, <laughs> I thought it was. So you and the Caribbean was... blacks, huh? Hmm. Here we go. Jamaica, stand up. So you see what he does Jamaica, on Jamaica, stand up. But I'm the colorist. Yeah, I should have been here about five color? minutes before we started. Who said anything Nigga about color? Nigga was on some colors and shit. Who said anything about color? You. I don't know. Shout out Jamaica. Shout out the White House. Here we go. Because Kamala Harris is in it now. Shout out. Um, Stimulus is hitting. Some niggas already got that in their account. Yes. Yes. Make sure you got your... Uh, Subscribe. <laughs> Make Subscribe. Make sure you got your applications right so you can get some of this free money. Mm. Money. Subscribe. How was your weekend? Oh, come on. It's just me. I'm just... You know, Same nobody needs to know what emoji. my weekend was like. Huh? Nothing crazy. I hang out with... What I do on the weekends, I hang out with my son. And I chill with J-Lo, him. J-Lo, what's relax. up with him? So now it's cool to be in a, 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 a their father? Listen, man. They try to uh, paint us in a certain way. Like, they always say that the black fathers, they get out of there. They don't give a fuck. They don't, you know, they're not, they're not absent. They're not uh, present fathers. They're absent fathers. Absentee All fathers. the black fathers that I know take care of their kids. Woo! So I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. Shout outs to them. Uh, that's like misinformation. That's fake news. Fake, fake news. And, uh, and uh, yeah, that's fake news, man. The black people take care of their kids, man. Yeah. Black I mean, some of y'all are piece of shit, but um, for the most part, <laughs> you're taking care of our shit. The black I mean, man don't cheat. Be, they could be in a, a, a piece of shit and also a uh, good father. Uh, How can you be yeah. a piece of shit and a good father? I mean, because you're a piece of shit to everybody but Once your you're a kids. good father, you're no longer a piece you're of shit. You're a piece of shit to everybody but your kids. Well, okay, I see what you're trying to say. I guess, then. yeah. Okay. Uh, we can go many ways with that, but all right. What, what kind of ways? What kind of ways we could go with that? Bro? I, mean, I mean, I'm sure a lot of women would say different. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Speaking about women saying yeah. differently, we might have a woman's perspective oh, on the show. Today. Maybe okay. if you stay tuned. Bleak's gonna give a woman's perspective. Oh. <laughs> what? That sounded like shots fired. Damn! What pew, kind of pew, role? Pew, 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 what kind of role is that? Listen, and honestly, Bleak, however you want to identify, that's on you. Yeah, we don't hate. I'm not a person. I'm not gonna assume. I identify as a man. Okay. And what are your pronouns, sir? <laughs> Boom. All right. Um, we did it. Word of the day. Let's knock it out. Word of the day. Word of the day. Okay, today's word of the day is ostentatious. Oh, ostentatious. my gosh. Ostentatious. I've heard this word a million yeah. times. Word of the I day. Have, ostentatious. Like I but I have no idea what it Any means. Any guesses, guys? Come on, let's get some guesses. Can we guesses get it in, in a here. sentence? Is he going to wrestle? <laughs> Any guesses, guys? Nope. Can we get it in a sentence? <laughs> I guess I can get it in a sentence, asshole. I got you. Thank you. Uh, I'll give you my guess after the sentence. After I infer the definition. All right, exactly. sentence. Here it goes. Ready? It's an adjective, just to let you know. It's an adjective. Oh, oh, thank you. And thank here's you. a sentence. Very much, very much. Books that people buy and display ostentatiously, but never actually finish. Oh, like faking the funk. Like faking, like fake smart. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it right. Let me, let me bring it all together. Bring it back. Bring it back. But ideas? ostentatious, no, I mean, based off of the sentence you gave me, was somebody who's ultimately trying to fake like knowledge or fake like you know like mm. an image regarding said thing that they're ultimately you know like I can buy smart books and never read it and hang it up in my house so you think I'm wild smart so, okay I mean, okay that's okay so someone that's faking intelligence faking the funk okay faking the funk what about you a phony a, a phony. phony yeah a phony okay usually okay ostentatious uh, the definition right here says characterized by vulgar or pretentious display designed to impress or attract notice. Hey. Oh, yeah. So pretentious, showy are uh, synonyms, conspicuous, mm. obtrusive, oh, real. flamboyant. Buy dinner, mm. take out until you after dinner. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you buy dinner yeah, so and that's a put good it exa- in the pots, put it in the pots and then try but to I serve think, it. I think the that. ostentation. I think the ostentatious part, like so, you buy. You said if you buy dinner and you put it in the pots in front, like you cook it. I feel like if you tell them you cook it and you put it on display and you make a big deal about it, like yes. yo, I just it took me seven hours to make this. If you could, that's yeah. I think that's the ostentatious yeah. part right there. If he starts bragging about it and be like, "Oh my God, you're such a good cook," and you just take all of it, like, "Yes, I am. I've been doing it for years." Hmm. That's a good word of the day. I think I think it was a uh, a step up, for, not a step up, but like you know, I think last week was a little easy. This one was a little harder. You gotta but, mix them up. Gotta mix it up. Shit, gotta mix it up. It's easy for you. It's not easy for someone else. You, you know what I mean? Facts. We didn't sound like. But all these words are important words. You hear them in in places, and you can use them to sound smart or to or figure out what the smart niggas is talking about. I would make an ostentatious display, but I actually could back this shit up. Oh, this is just something shit. that that we feel good about. Tap, Today tap, tap. we have a guest with us. Ooh. 
And once again, even uh-huh. though it's 2021 and 2020 was the year of the woman, we're continuing our respect and Ad- ad- adulation, adulation, <laughs> adoration. <laughs> All the ads. All the, yes. All the ads. So we're bringing... Admiration. I don't we're bringing a fine example of feminine consequence to the show. The lovely Kim B. Ooh. Ooh. Kim, Kim B. B. Do me a favor, Kim B. Look into the mic. Tell them who you are. Look into the mic or the camera? Mm. Oh, the hey! Camera. Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> it's good bug, good bug. It's good bug, good bug. Look good into timing. the camera yep. and tell them who you are. Hi, everybody. I'm Kim B. Woo-wee! Yeah. <laughs> Where can we find you at? What's your... Uh... Um, you can find me at itskim.b. Also follow my swimwear line at Lila NYC. I would spell Lila for the dumb... dumb L-I-L-A-H-N-Y-C. Fire, fire, fire. Okay. Period. Okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Welcome to so, the show. So, Thanks Kim, what... Kim B, sorry. <laughs> Get it what right. brings you to the show today? Crump. Hey! hey. <laughs> Get him, Crump. Crump reached out to you and you were... Crump, uh, stay with the guests. Cr- you, Crump reached out to you and you felt uh, <laughs> you felt like this was a good situation for you to come through. Crump reached out and then he sent me y'all page, y'all work, and I watched a few episodes. Ooh. And I was like, oh, I like talking my shit. Mm. You know, I love talking about relationships. I would definitely... It would be a pleasure to be a part of this conversation. Okay. Hell yeah. We appreciate you coming through. We appreciate you Thanks, coming through. Hell yeah. We so need that. Watch, we need when that. When you watched uh, what you watched, right? What are oh. we doing wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, for the most, I mean, first and foremost, yeah, I don't have a female ho- co-host. Mm. So that's a problem. Yep. Okay. It's already too much. Yeah. <laughs> it's already too much. Um testosterone mm. okay. too much okay. male perspective okay, okay. so you know you know, need we, some female energy to balance it out that's why we brought you in right. and that's what you're and that's for. why you guys consistently have women guests and I like that so yeah. shout okay. out we to don't want, we don't want to give any we don't want to bring on more dudes no yeah if you are going to do it like this always have a female yeah. guest Ooh. <laughs> to balance it and out at the same point in time I'm, I'm for equality so uh, yes we all are not against consent boys. male guests it right. just happens to be yep. That, you know, we've had some very awesome female guests that were available. We have. Very interesting. And willing to come to the show. Very interesting. Like okay, me. so let's get into the shits, guys. <laughs> mm. The shits! I got questions, but I want to start with current events. So we just talked about the uh, president earlier. Mm-hmm. Yes. He's out of here. Mm-hmm. It's a new day, a new era. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, sure. we're dealing with this uh, pandemic, yes. coronavirus. Mm-hmm. People are uncertain about jobs and money. Mm-hmm. They don't know where it's going to come from. Mm-hmm. You got any words of advice or any suggestions, any tips well, to deal, uh, deal with navigate. life, navigate, navigate through this crazy time that we have right now? Don't take it day by day. Take it moment by moment. Okay. Um, a wise man once said, it's not a pandemic, it's a pandemic. Mm. So get to your back. <laughs> mm. Why did say that? You get to the bag. Yo. You get to the fucking bag. Get to the bag. <laughs> Talk, talk to us about your swimmer, your swimmer line. Didn't, you were just telling us on the, uh, before the show that you just had a pop-up shop in the city, right? Uh, yes. How did that go through the, with all this pandemic? How did you work that out? I don't want to, like, rain on anyone else's parade, but this pandemic's been lit, at least for me. Okay. 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 So, um, it didn't affect our pop-up. Like, you still got to do life. Right. Yes. Life. The world is still rotating. Life don't exactly. stop. Life don't stop. Mm-hmm. So get it how you can. So, you know, we followed all COVID guidelines. Yeah. And um, we had, you know, just a few guests come. We were open from one to six in the Lower East Side. Had a few vendors. Everyone is, for the most part, from Uptown. Yeah. I had to think about that. <laughs> okay. Yes, for the most part, everyone is um, uptown natives. And so it was just nice to give everyone a platform and a space to put their merch out there and just get the bless, band. bless and, our bless and get our the people. Bands. Like, we do it for the people. So we was only hoping they came to support us in any way, even if it wasn't physically. And we got exactly that. It just turned out it was really dope. It was really cool. Um, everyone kept their masks on and all that good stuff. But um, 
it was really fun. Okay, so you see, you, so you can get it, you can get it done, basically. That's what you're saying. No yeah. more, you know, we don't, we don't no want more excuses. excuses. No, no, but it's you always have to, about the mindset, though. To absolutely. Me. Yes. Well, yeah, like my mantra: this pandemic, get it mm-hmm. done by all means. Yeah, you stay positive yeah, yeah. and you stay focused. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, so how did you get into swimsuits? Um, why swimsuits? Why swimsuits? Yeah. Um. Okay. Well. Less fabric. No. <laughs> like, if we're being okay. honest, Facts. like, you know, it doesn't yes. take a lot to make them. Nope. Um, and if you look at my Instagram, all I do is wear bikinis and okay. travel. So it only made sense. <laughs> it only made sense. This is facts. Yes. Like, if you look on my page, I'm always on an island wearing a bikini. On a beach. So you're a beach bum. Um, I'm a beach bum. Can I'm you an... live that lifestyle, that beach absolutely. bum lifestyle? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I'm an expeditionist. Like, I w- hate wearing clothes. Oh, so, so you're an exhibitionist. You go crazy. She would have been one of the. Mm, she would have been one of the girls excellent. that asked you to come through to the nude beach with your dudes to bag her. I'd ask oh, you to okay. come to the nude beach, but not for you and your friends to bag. But no, no, no. Yeah. it was, it so was a, a good time. From last yeah, we had episode. a scenario like if you, uh, met, if you ran into a group of girls and you were with your group of uh, your friends, oh, and they okay. said come to the nude beach with us, would you be okay with going oh, with your boys? Oh, okay, okay, absolutely. Yeah, everyone's welcome. Like, Let's they, go to the listen, nude beach. A couple of guys in here. I'm not going to mention any names, Crump. Mm-hmm. They were like they wouldn't. Yeah, don't do mention any names. They, they wouldn't do it because, you know, they couldn't go to a nude beach yeah, with they dudes. Yeah, ha- they have a problem. They can't, you know, they they have to look down. But it's not about the dudes. Feel. It's not about the dudes. I don't even care. I would never know that you're at the nude beach with me. because The only reason I know is because we drove together. That's yeah. the only reason. After that, I'll never see you again, brother. It's over. Yeah. No eye contact. No, yeah, yeah, I like that mentality. Yeah. I'm here for the show. It's just body parts. I came to see you. There you go. Nothing <laughs> has value unless you give it. I mean, I'm with that beach lifestyle. No, that beach bum lifestyle is Shit something is I definitely want to try. To be awesome. Yeah. Come on, always under the sun. Mm-hmm. Nice. You get that mm-hmm. nice tan mm-hmm. always, all year round. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, like, um, so, you know, we were talking about it last week, the Buss It Challenge. Okay. I've been, I've been enjoying it for all uh, healthy and positive reasons. Oh, man, that uh, challenge. That's a tough challenge. It's all about good vibrations. Mm-hmm. That's all. I don't know what else other people are, are into it for, but it's a positive thing for me. Okay. Um, so, if you had a significant other... Yeah. Right? And she happened to do the Bus It Challenge. Would you be okay with that? Would you need her to run it by you? Is there a certain kind of Bus It Challenge that you're okay with? Does it go over the line at some point? I just want your thoughts on that. Your shorty is doing the Bus It Challenge. You scroll down your timeline, boom. Bus It. Oh, so Bus It. Bus It. I catch it on the timeline, not in person as she's making it. So you stumble upon her. She does the Bus It Challenge. Right. And, you know, you, you catch it on the timeline. How do you feel about that? I'm not a fan of her. I'm not a fan of catching my significant other on the timeline doing the busted challenge. Okay, so you'd be upset. Yes, I'd would be that upset. be would that be uh, uh, would you have thoughts of ending the relationship because no, of that? I, it, it's more of a disappointing thing than an angry or a mad strong thing. conversation. It's, it's like right? you know when you're when your parents when you did, when you did something wrong, your parents are like, I'm not mad or upset. I'm just disappointed. She you're like, a, oh, are, is she can she get dick that night? Or she on punishment. She's on punishment for the night. Okay, she's on punishment for the night. She on punishment for the night. Okay. You got some good composure. I mean, you gotta. So you're. I don't know. Uh, do you date males, females? What do you do? I both everything. I am fluid. Okay, it's pansexual. Okay, I date souls. Okay. Um, okay. I said fluid. I don't so, name it whatever these. Exactly. Whatever the no society labels. named it, I name it fluid. Okay. And souls. You love so love. Fl- you love love. I love, I love, love. chemistry. Mm. I love good people. Mm. Like, That's good, man. good like people, that. good, good energy. So like if your partner, mm-hmm. yeah. you're scrolling down the timeline, bus it, mm-hmm. bus it, bus it. Absolutely not. Is there absolutely not? You're no. not a fan, right? Um, I don't want to see it on the timeline. I mean, okay, so I'm not like crazy or anything, guys. What every crazy girl says. Um, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> right. We have time. We'll no, see. No, no, no. Like, okay, so it's not a deal breaker for me. I'm not going to break up with you if but you posted it flag. on your timeline first. However, a conversation will be had only because there's no need to have, to have my permission because I'm not going to ask you for mine. But at least a courtesy to send it to me I feel that. first so I could see it and then be like, I'm about to post this. Like, I don't know, something. Okay. It don't got to be like, oh, can I post? No, none of that. But send it to me because I want to see it first. Like, so you, okay. need, a, you need to you approve need to it? it first. You need to approve it. But you're not going to say I'm yes not going to no. approve it. It's you're not, not going to approve it. I don't, so. I don't see it as approval. I just see it as a courtesy. Courtesy, like, okay. You saw it first. Like, All right. my bae got it first. Okay. You know? Are you a big fan of, um, like, so, you know, just a step from the busted challenge for a second. Any kind of like 
a uh, nice picture, sexy picture. You want to run by you first. All right, not post that one. No, that one's for me. I'm keeping that one. Something, if you have to question, is this risky? It's risky. So, Ooh, good point. Like, Ooh. let's be real. If you're questioning if it's risky, it's risky. And if you want to send it, because you want to do that, go ahead. Like, I don't, I let people do whatever they want and then I'll follow suit. Like, okay, that's okay. the type of energy you was on. Like, mm-hmm. but I know how you move. However, what I'd like my significant other to do, if you feel like it's something risky, send it to me first, not for permission, just to be like, oh, look what I did, whatever, I'm about to post it. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, dope. And then you, you give your opinion. Like, that's on it. it. Yeah, like, you say, I'll be like, say... oh, that's a little much. And then you decide what you want to do with that. Okay. Like, at the cost of But you're never saying, no, don't me. post that. No, you're absolutely like, I don't like not. that. Personally, I absolutely. wouldn't do that. Yes, yes. Okay. But I will not tell you what Lee? to do because I don't like people telling me what to do. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like those were good points, but to be honest, if you... It's all about, like, <laughs> if you met this person, right? And then, you know, if, if you have a problem with a person doing the busted challenge, mm-hmm. then you then you shouldn't be with a person that thinks that doing a busted challenge is even fire. Okay. Okay, so you're already making the wrong decisions. If that's yeah, something exactly. that bothers you, you're shorty. You would have a shorty that wouldn't even want to do that. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're trying to say. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. and that's my okay. that's my mentality. And I would think also, that, but okay. I, you, I wanted to keep it under the guise of the question. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, I mean, answer the question and then oh, okay. you know expound. Do you? Nah, elaborate? I think it's definitely circumstantial. Like you have to know the person you're dating. Yes. Like it depends how so. long you guys been dating. It depends what you were doing before you guys met. If this was. If this is the content you were putting out before I pull up, who am I to tell you to stop now and change what you're doing? I met you like this. Like, I've seen you doing this already. So if it was something you were already doing, I'm not going to tell you to stop, to change anything. Like, I got to know what I'm getting myself into. But if this is something you're not doing and all of a sudden you posting a busted challenge, we got a problem. That's a red flag, right? I think that's a red flag. Where you come from? If you don't fuck with it, that's a red flag. Like... Mm-hmm. You know, even to me, like to me, to and then you have to then start the now I have to change this person because if this person thinks that bust a challenge is fire and they want to do it and you don't, then you automatically now have to change them to your liking. So let me ask you a question. No, nah, I'm not changing. Do you think the bust oh, okay. challenge is fire? Me? Yes. No. Oh shit. Hmm. Are you do asking? You think, <laughs> do you think the bust challenge know, is fire? Before you, we add more questions. I want to yeah. ask you your opinion. Exactly. You what about you? If your significant other, your shorty, was doing the busted challenge, you saw her, her her doing the busted challenge on your timeline. What is your thoughts? Um, like I was trying to when I set the question, like I was trying to say, there's so many parameters to that. Okay. I've seen some classy ass busted challenges. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've seen some nasty ass busted, busted challenges. Nasty mm-hmm. as like like naked. Mm-hmm. It's on Instagram. I don't even know how that happens. I'm not, I'm not, you get a few I'm hours really before you get taken down. I'm not mad at it. I don't you can build up some, you can build sure up some steam. It, but Algorithms go up. Yeah, there's some been some busted challenges. I didn't I didn't know you could do that on Instagram. So yeah. if my shorty was doing a classy busted challenge, yeah. hey man, my shorty's sexy. Okay. I don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Go ahead, go crazy. Say the busted challenge is circumstantial. Oh. I like that. And that's why it's I, a level I left the question field. so open range. Yeah. If she was on some sexy, crazy shit, busting it, you'd be upset. But if it was on some classy, what is the cla- what is the classy? What if she challenge? wore? What if I think she it's wore? All subjective. What if no, she I'm wore? Asking, I'm asking you, what was the class? You said you saw a yeah, classy. I mean, she, they were dressed appropriately. Right. I wasn't seeing. Like, what if no she wore a pantsuit? Out. Like, a pantsuit. Yeah, I seen people well like dressed up, like mm-hmm. you know. I, I, just, okay. I didn't know what nice dress, uh, like classy. put together. I, I don't see nothing mm-hmm. going crazy. No and asses I seen, hanging yeah, out of the Yeah, then I seen full ass out, too. Okay. That part. You yeah, I've seen, I've seen those. I feel like they're very great, too. They're an entertainment, right? You watch it and you're entertained. Woman, I saw a funny one where but a woman... You, know, you don't want your significant other to She dropped, and then once she dropped, it was a it was her kid on the counter, like, in a, in a, like... Kid, uh, in a, like a car seat or something I like saw that. One, she, she was like... She was in the crib. She was about to drop it, and then her nigga walked in. So she pretended she was cleaning. She was like, oh, I'm just making the bed and shit. I, Look yeah, at that. I, yeah, I feel those are all like <laughs> staged. I feel that was that yeah, one was yeah. staged. I mean, but it was entertaining. I thought. I mean, to just, it's a nice twist. It was, an, it was a nice twist a on nice the uh, Busted Challenge. So we're good on the Busted Challenge as long as you're not showing vagina, <laughs> or or penis. Whoa. All right. So I was about to. So I, the, 
Well, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's niggas pull, doing the busted challenge. I'm sure that they're gay niggas, and I'm sure there's gay niggas. They don't have to be gay. I think there's, there could be all kinds of niggas doing. I'm the sure that they got their own. I'm sure they got their own busted challenge. I don't think straight niggas is doing the busted challenge. I'm sure they're doing. I'm sure they got their own busted challenge. I'm sure they get their own views. They'll probably put their own twist to it. Yeah. So we we're talking about the busted challenge. I think I got it. It's perfect. Go ahead. We're talking about the busted challenge. What if there was a nigga challenge somehow, like? The nigga print challenge. What? Like, you got to show your print. Like, yo, the print challenge is some, some song in the background. I don't know what it would be. And you got to show your print. Like, uh. Could would you, you get it? down? Would you get down with that? Would you do it? Yeah. The, yo, the D'Angelo Untitled Challenge. Oh, but you gotta, wow. You got to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta oil your The Benzino Challenge. No, no, no. You can count me out. Challenge. Yeah, the Benzino yeah, yeah. Challenge. Count me out. Count me you got to do the Benzino Challenge. What if, your man did, what if you scroll down the list and your man yeah. was doing, like you had a nigga, and yeah. you scroll down the list and he had, <laughs> he was doing the D'Angelo Challenge. Like extreme though. like Extreme. He showed your goodies. He showed your goodies. Crisco, the whole can. He showed your goodies. That's what he did. Yeah, we definitely have a conversation there we go. about yeah. that. That's not, that's not cool. That's not cool. Let me, let me, let me, <laughs> but before, before we get to before, before we But I still else, feel I, I, like I'm it's curious. circumstantial. Like, what have you been, what have you been a thirst trap? <laughs> yeah. and I, that's how you bagged I've been, you. Yeah, that's how I bagged you. Like, you've been yeah, a thirst trap. True. You've exactly. been doing this. Exactly. Like, there we go. Yeah, yeah you can. Can I ask you a question? Could you what be it? with a nigga that's a thirst trap? Nigga, my fault. Me personally? Nah. Or a woman. But the thirst or a woman trap. What if the thirst trap got or the woman trap? They got you with the woman trap. That's how they live. Could you be okay with yo? I'm not gonna stop posting them crazy shits. That's, but that's talking about but you're talking about me personally. Yeah, you I will personally. I will never get trapped by a thirst trap. Okay, I there we go. It could never you, be something you know, so enticing. I can never I mean, get trapped. They get by you off traps. the pictures alone. I am the trap. Okay, there we go. So you got to yeah. be the sexiest she one in your relationship. The, she, nah, she knows. She knows nah, the cues. She knows the cues. I don't have to be the sexiest one. My okay. girlfriend's very pretty. But, but do you think you're sexier than her? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. Like Are you usually you know. the sexiest one in your relationship? Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Can I ask a question, yes. Kim? That's all right. That's good Kim, to know. I like that. Ask a question. Yes. Would there, would, would, for you, because you said you're fluid, would there mm -hmm. be any type of, would there be a, is it the same for like a bust a challenge for, let's say you had a girl or mm -hmm. a print challenge if you had a dude? Would it be the same level of either don't fuck with it for the same across the board or you do fuck with no, it? No, yeah, the same. Like, it's circumstantial okay. on both, going on both, both ways, okay. yeah. Like, um, it all depends, like, what, what your content, you know, what your content is displaying. Like, I'm not going to stop you from doing whatever you were doing before okay. me. Um, and how you're doing it. Like, be tasteful because... I'm a tasteful bitch. Be tasteful. So be tasteful. Ooh, be tasteful. That Vogue, it don't got to be like some it raunchy shit. It doesn't, doesn't got to be nasty. Completely nah, it don't got to be yeah, raunchy. I mean, yeah. again, if that's what you was already putting out there, it hey. wasn't attracting to them in the first place. Right. Like, stay in your lane. But yeah, that doesn't attract me. No. So guys, uh, could you fall for the thirst trap shorty? No. And if she said that once y'all are together, she's like, listen, I'm not going to stop my... My thirst trap ways. I'm posting the most provocative shits online yeah. every time because I need my followers up and it's getting mm -hmm. me bread and it's getting me like brand sponsors. Like, yeah, so Branding. I'm making bread. I, so I'm not stopping that. I, I personally wouldn't ever really, I wouldn't date a woman that would ever, like that would be her thing because I don't fuck with that. Not from a, I'm not hating and I'm not shitting on you or saying you're living lower than, I mean, anything, but I don't like that for my significant other mm -hmm. to be that type. Okay. So I wouldn't. Bleaky. Um, I feel like I see that a lot on, on IG. I see that a lot on social media, which you just said. With the women, the, like, yeah. I see that a lot. And, and then you... Trap. And and then real you, sexy pictures. Yeah, the real sexy pictures. And then yeah. you see the relationship at that, you know, whatever it is, if some guy fell for the thirst trap. Mm -hmm. Like, you see that, that relationship built for a month or two. And then you see the separation. Then you see her go back to the same thing. So it's like I think they attract similar lifestyles. Exactly. So like you the fast money women mm -hmm. attract fast, fast money men. Because exactly. Yeah. They, that's how they're getting it. And the opposite is just so foreign for them that they feel more comfortable with somebody who's getting fast money like they. But that are. makes sense. Like it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You put out what you attract. You yeah. get what you put out. Like yeah. Like it. listen, I'm gonna be honest. Like maybe in another life, we're saying this is an alternate universe. I'm a single man. Alternate universe. universe. Wow. G gets to answer for another his universe. alternate universe. universe. Yeah, he don't. But I'm he trying to give you the. I'm trying to give you the fairest answer possible. Because otherwise, he's not moving. Because, because, because otherwise, I'm going to do the Gregory Hines shit you don't like. This, You're doing it now. 
I am. Yeah, this yeah. is not moonwalking. This is something else. I'm moonwalking, guys. You, like, you, I'm not you just went I'm to another up. universe to answer the question. All right, well, I'll stay in this, well, I'll stay in this fucking universe and answer the question. Then. I'll say, yeah, you dig moonwalking. You heard me? So, all right, but anyway. All right, so I'll stay in this world then. Please. Um, could I fall for a thirst trap? With my mind, I want to say no. But for the sake of the question and to make it entertaining, yes, I could fall for a beautiful picture. There's a couple, oh there's a couple Instagram models out there. And if they hit me up in the DM, I think I would be like, okay, what's going on with that? This is you know what I mean? Tapping. And I would understand that that's the lifestyle that they live. That's how they make their bed, bread. That's their job. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with it. Okay. But I'm a different kind of person. Y'all... Y'all want to control your woman. Oh, who said who's who said no, that? Who nobody talking about said, controlling women? women? Hold on, hold on. So, so you ain't nobody so toxic. G, G said, G heard all G all G heard from us was that we would control our women. Yeah, but all we said was we wouldn't even go after those kind of women in the first place. So, hey, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. So you know, if wow. I if I did get into what'd you say? Mm, go ahead, go ahead. If I did get into that kind of situation. I feel like I would be okay with her continuing the lifestyle that makes her her bread and uh-huh. what attracted me to her. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, if she's my shorty That's like that and is serious, I don't want her busting it open. Right. But a bust the challenge is cool. Yeah. What's the challenge? I'm pretty sure she's been twerking and doing some other kind of shit anyway. So on, on, on what am already. I really feeling crazy about? Yeah. I, I, Honestly. Feel, I feel if she doesn't twerk online before this and she did the bust the challenge, it's a red flag. Like, like oh, now you're doing oh, Yeah. Like, you know. well, I mean... That's my opinion. Okay, yeah. Okay, understood. No, no, give me no, no. This is not not something where you just say something and you can't talk. No, I was gonna say my piece, but I do want to say I I understand your piece. I understand that because I I see that I can see why do you think that, but I don't do no busted challenges, and I even thought of it only because it looked really fun, Mm. and I knew I wasn't gonna bust it with a fucking dress that shows half my ass. I knew I was going to do that. I don't even Do you like think your dresses. knees are built for the busted challenge? Absolutely. I got meg knees. They made a steal. Let's go. A lot of bitches say they got meg knees, but they got peg knees. Oh. I can dance. I can dance. Now, yeah. let me... So, I just... You know, I haven't had the energy, I guess. Or, or the real... You know what I'm saying? Or the real motivation drive, yeah, to do it. Way. However, I do enjoy watching it. And I did even consider doing it, but... Had I even done that challenge, me, just being me, I would have sent it to my partner first. Like, yo, look what I just did. Let me know what you think. Yeah. <laughs> is this good enough to post? Like, nah, I'm not asking you not if it's good, good enough. enough but let me know what you think. It's, yeah, it's popping. I look think. fly. Yeah. Like, what's up? I mean, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. Do I look good? Like, yeah. Do, it, I look good? It, yeah. 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 do I look good? Yeah. Do I look good? I look good? I did that or not? Like, yeah, this yeah. is true. We can't We can't negate You know, this also this situation. Like, is the fit right? There's some people who don't do it for that kind of attention. Right. But also, it was easy. I, so me, like, I look at people's TikToks, I'm like, that's fucking hard. Like, oh, like yeah. y'all could keep that. Generation Z, all that. Oh, you Mm-mm. can do the Corvette, Corvette dance? You know how to do that one? That's a good one, right? Corvette, Corvette. That one, that, yeah, that. I don't know. I only saw the video of the girl telling people that it's not Corvette, Corvette, that it's Corvette, Corvette. And I said, ooh, mm-hmm. sis, that what she said. I, was, I, I don't know. I don't drive. Right now. That's but, the um, one. yeah, like, it, it looked easy. So I was like, oh, this is simple enough that I can do. Yeah, it's fun. That, yeah, it's so even like- I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm about to do this, but I don't got the motivation to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you did it, it would kill. I feel like you could do that. Nah, I could totally do it. I got faith you in you. Yeah. But I did see on social media this week that uh, there was this uh, woman who was on OnlyFans who was complaining that she's not getting as many subscribers mm-hmm. as, or it's hard to sell her nudes like it used to be because mm-hmm. of so many women have joined uh, OnlyFans during the corona. And oh, wow. Shout out to all you girls on OnlyFans. Hit us up if you'd like to be a guest. Um, there's a regular Facts. screening process. We'll go yeah. through it. <laughs> and, um, but, before, but, you know. Just send in your uh, information. Show your boobs. And uh, <laughs> no, that's not how we talk to women. <laughs> send us your applications or just reach out to us. Reach out and touch us uh, at <laughs> blood change at gmail. At gmail. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, when supply meets demand, like sis, time to switch it up. So this yeah. is like, like this is the OnlyFans era for women. I like, this is I like, like exactly. Like supply in the, meets uh, late nineties, early two thousands. So true. How it was the mixtape era for niggas. Yeah. And every nigga had a mixtape, yeah. and every nigga was trying to get on. Mm-hmm. Now every shorty has an OnlyFans, and is busting it open. Mm-hmm. So a lot of women, since the market is so saturated, mm-hmm. a lot of even quality women are not making the money that they anticipated, or actually maybe would have made it in another time, mm-hmm. because there's so much out there and it's so cheap. It's 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 watering down yeah, and so diluting the the content. 
Yeah, so is everything else on every other platform. You have to so be- is everything else in every other business that everyone wants to do. Lashes, makeup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so is everything up. Think of something new. Yeah, and the real ones when still everybody's, survive, though. Yeah, like if everybody's getting on it and your shit's getting less views, think of something new. Come up with something fresh. Like, let's go. Do something different. Start Having a challenge. A, get a, like, get a, this is true. Get a fucking Start a challenge. challenge. You got to create your own path. You got to get it done by all means. Like, I will never feel... Like it's, it's, we're at the point where just showing your body isn't enough no like for women just showing your body isn't enough and yeah I could yeah like there's mad women who thought they could survive for mad long just off of showing their body but uh, pandemic shows you Mm -hmm. what's really up and No, I mean, I don't think that whole showing off your body is ever going to go away. No, I'm not I mean, saying... That's, no, that's, I, I didn't say it was like going away. Like we said away. before, like but, we said before, that's the original content. That's but, the original content. Yeah, watered down. All that shit is time that's to get what creative. people always wanted mm-hmm. to see. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, like... And it's good that it's time to get creative because, yeah. you know, it's too much. Yeah, make it fun. So it's time. I have a question for y'all in regards to OnlyFans. Talk, okay, talk <laughs> to us, talk to us. I don't know if y'all answered this on previous episodes. I'm sure nah, y'all go ahead. No, it's all right. But... How would you feel if your significant others had an OnlyFans and like, they didn't tell you? Like, or they okay. told you later, they, they didn't tell you right away. Okay. I got they one question, you, right? I got one question. Found yes. out. Did she have the OnlyFans before she met me? Yes. yes. But she just never told me about it. She kept it low. That's right. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> She's for not you. gonna be able to keep it low for me. <laughs> okay, but okay, she kept mm-hmm. it low. Wow, I would be very upset. I believe, but like you. I said before, I'm an open-minded person. Okay, and if we have a kind of bond, we could talk through it. Right. It's gonna be disappointing that you lied to me, mm-hmm. and that's something we got to work through. Yep. Mm. But come on, man, it's pretty stand up. You know I, mean? I like that. How about you, Crum? Um We all got secrets. I'd be tight. <laughs> I'd be tight if you had a. <laughs> It'd be way better if you already if you had the OnlyFans before we started dating mm-hmm. and and I found out later. It's better than you starting the OnlyFans after we started dating. And oh yeah, if we started the OnlyFans after we started dating, then it yeah. might be a I'm, I'm out. It I'm, might be yeah, a, I'm, I'm out of here. Here. I'm That's out. a deal breaker. Okay, yeah, I'm out because of you because we're together now and now mm-hmm. you want to go. This is a big venture. This is not like a you're gonna work at Stop and Shop overnight. Mm-hmm. Like, but what if she's making bank? Like she's okay, coming okay. You home. Know what? Like, you know what? Not, I'm not that rigid. I'm not that rigid. I'm not that strict. <laughs> Is she just showing her feet or some shit? What kind of OnlyFans? You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe a little more than the feet. You know what I'm saying? She's or getting she, a bad Or is she out. playing she's the banjo? Money. She's getting the top one percent. Mm, okay, not so. The banjo uh, meet in the no middle. Cam. Not not the feet, but she ain't doing the banjo either. Maybe a little, you know. Show the, a show little the in butt, between. Show the she's showing the, she's showing Maybe the, a little nipple tassel. Sign, sign, oh, know. the nipple tassel? Like, the nipples is covered still? Yes. Or like the sheer tops? With, you know, yeah. peekaboo yeah. with the sheer yeah. tops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could deal with that. Okay. Because if she has an exceptional rack, then, exceptional. you know, it's exquisite and all that. Like, okay. why wouldn't you show it off? Oh. You know okay. what I mean? You got some nice pretty nipples or something? I like that. Ooh. I'm okay with that. Oh. I like them. And if that's the kind of lifestyle, we making bread. But listen, you can't do that after me, though. Okay. We can't be together in a relationship and then you're like, you know what? I want to show the world my body and I'm not going to tell my nigga. Mm-hmm. That's, I feel like now you've nah, crossed the line. Cool. Yeah. It's over. That's cheating. That's cheating. I wouldn't care. I mean, a lot of niggas wouldn't care. My yeah, nigga's but, in the background saying, yeah. oh, and nigga? What yeah, the fuck? No, yeah, no. Who anything, gives a fuck if she's doing that? Shout out to the, sexy shout then. Shout out Let's to get this bread. Let's get this money. All right. Anything you wouldn't do in front of your partner is considered a form of cheating. I agree like, with that. I like that. I agree with that. But then again, Hmm. cheating is an agreement between two people. So like, I could be like, listen, I'm okay if you do this and this. That doesn't even bother me. You can get your pussy ate. I'm cool with it. But nobody can fuck you. Hmm. Interesting. And if you agree with that, some people would agree with shit like that. Mm -hmm. That's not cheating to me. Well, it doesn't sound like cheating if you came to an agreement. So I'm saying the cheating is an agreement. So some shit is cool with some people and some shit is not cool with some people. Some people talking to people is cheating. It depends yes. how they talking. It can be considered a form of, sure. If you're talking, it's if not you're about talking work. If you're to a co-worker them, and you're not talking about work and you're like off of work premises, that's cheating to people. Hmm, true. Well, Why then are you that's... even tr- getting in that path? There's no need for that. This mm, is true. Okay, fine. <laughs> I personally wouldn't put that in the realm of cheating but it depends what the conversation what's the conversation about like I mean 
are you going to have this conversation in front of me? Like I said, if you wouldn't do it in front of me, then consider it a form of. Like, okay. if you're going to have this conversation with a stranger, yeah. make sure that whatever the context is is something you discuss while I'm right in front of you. And if it's not, then mm -hmm. maybe you're doing something that you shouldn't be. Yeah, if you so. feel... Like, yeah, it's all about, you know, perception. If you mm -hmm. feel crazy, yeah, you're doing something wrong. Yeah. That's why you if you're sitting here telling your coworker, that's why you feel crazy about some wild world. shit that you wouldn't say in front of your man. So that's a problem. Sheesh. That's definitely a problem. So if you call your man, if you call your man, he's like, "Ah, oh, babe, I'll call you." Oh, sorry, or your shorty, whatever, your partner. You call your mm -hmm. partner, and your partner is like, "Uh, hold on, I'm on, I'm having lunch with my coworker." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hit you back. Uh, I mean, it depends how. Like, if it was urgent. Like, nah, I need you, like, to listen. It's not an urgent like, call. You just want to say, hey, I'll shoot Oh, shit, and, and they're at lunch with their friend? I'm on lunch with my coworker. All right, babe. Call you back later. You are a strong one. Absolutely. Or you're capping. No, hmm. well, okay, so Wait. you got to know your partner, too. Yes. You got to know your partner and you got to know yourself. Like, does your partner always go out to lunch with coworkers or is it just, I don't know, like, a new thing happening? Yeah. Like, you, I don't know. I find everything circumstantial. Like, there, it's never black or white. There's a lot of gray areas. Yeah, it sounds like... Uh, that was a PC answer for you. No, I mean, no, sounds like good. a mature answer for it's me. It's mature. Yeah. It's mature. But I feel like you would not tolerate that. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm asking you what kind of ice cream you like, nigga. I don't give a fuck what date you on. Nah, nah, it depends. With some coworker bitch. Are you stupid? No, it depends. If I know my partner, if I know my partner, like I'm talking about know my partner. Yeah. I'm not it's worried about that. You, can't, you like, can't project that insecurity. Yeah. If I don't know them like that, then I, that's something I'd feel uncomfortable. But that's something I'll talk to you when we get that time. Like, yo, you dubbed me when I call you because you was out lunch with your coworker. Like, How important is this cool, person? You call your shorty. She's on a lunch date with yeah. your coworker. Okay. I'll call you back, babe. I'm, we're trying the feather. Well, I, I will try my best not to react at the moment of the phone call, right? You got to wait till later and then be like, yo... What you mean you have so to call me? you're getting off the phone? Yeah, that's so you're yeah. like, all right, bye. At least one time. No, hold on, babe. I'm sorry. We're, we're, you know, wait, wait, it's the second on, time? Eating. No, no, we're eating. Huh? Like, well, I'll just hit you back. All right, yeah, hit me yeah, back. Okay. Because I'm sorry, but if I'm out on lunch with my coworker and my significant other calls me, I'm eating. I'm not... Do you need something right now? Yeah. You just called to check on me? Thank you, babe. Love you. I'm, I'm eating. Alive. I'll call Good. you when it's I'm done. Alive. Same thing? I'm a very present person. Like, yeah. my phone is going to be down and I'm going to pay attention to the person in front of me. Okay. And whatever we're going to discuss is something of substance and whatever we're eating, even if it's not, I'm here with it. And you know I'm here. And if my partner knows me, they know I'm a present bitch. So they know not. Nah, Kim is there. Yeah. Okay. Like, she's not here right now. I'm going to respect that. Okay. So, yeah. Woo! That's how you keep it blunt. I didn't even, even hear what you were saying oh, about it. I was just going to say that, yeah, yeah no, I, I agree. What's good? I agree. Like, I'm yeah, if, 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 if I'm out with coworkers and like I'm always gonna take the phone call, I'm always mm -hmm. taking the phone call. Absolutely. If, yeah, I'll tell you I'm eating, I'm eating, and she's gonna be, and she would say, "Uh, hey, I just wanted to say hi, but I see that you're working." Like she, she's gonna say, "Oh, oh, you're with coworkers." Um, hit me back. Later. Don't worry, hit me back. Mm -hmm. uh, it was nothing. I just wanted to talk real quick, but mm -hmm. I just glad to hear your voice real mm -hmm. quick, mm -hmm. and we'll, and I'll hit you back when when I'm done with lunch. But yeah, it's not. So you're okay with your significant other going on lunch dates with coworkers? <laughs> Yes. Lunch dates they or, or, lunch? or just other That's wow. what's happening You're like, calling You call yes. your significant other No that's not you a lunch date You call your significant other date. And they're out to lunch With a co-worker <laughs> Of the opposite sex No that's not a lunch a date A very attractive co-worker From the, I mean, the opposite it doesn't sex Alright now you dragging it You yeah. did not say all of this In the beginning all right, all right. You did not say all of this In the beginning Get out of here Bring it back Bring it back Gotta keep it back That's what he does So guys A couple viewer questions right I have a viewer question That's what he does Reaching Was it entertaining Yes. Are we all okay? Yes, yes. absolutely. Everybody yes. made no, it out on the not okay. We did, man. <laughs> I died. Did you die? That was good. You died? <laughs> I died. <laughs> all right. So, uh, brown stallion with skates on? What? What? Come on, man. Oh, 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 oh. They asked the question. Yeah, yeah. Brown Stallion no, with Instagram skates follow. on. Instagram. 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 Okay, viewer question. Viewer question from... Uh, they had a comment from the... Uh, it was from the episode where we... Uh, how do you ask your girl for money? Okay. Right? <laughs> uh, the question is I have a question Related to this topic I just read Brown Stallion With skates on That name is Very Very unique I just randomly Found this video And it's right on time What if my man Claims He asked me For money To test me I didn't like The shit And now he's out The door Wait what Say that again mm -hmm. I'm with her Or I'm with 
Stand. Say that one more time. Please, yeah. A little confusing. What if What if her man asked her for money to test her? Oh. I have a question. Yeah. I just, okay, so. Yeah. Right, right. So then right. the test came. So the if, test was what positive. If my, right. What if my man claims he asked me for money to test me to see what I'd say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And that's a bum yeah, ass she nigga. Ain't like that and get the fuck right. out of here. I don't. So I, I ain't do that. like that, that's and corny. now now you out. Like, that's, that's a deal breaker. Absolutely, that's corny. That's wild corny. I mean, it's uh, circumstantial. Like, I don't know how long y'all been together. Like, what if y'all been together for four years? Would you ask a girl money for money just to test her? All right, let me make this clear. I don't. I personally, I don't do the test. I left that back in school. Didn't like it there either. So I feel her. However, I feel for a person. Period. Like, there's a lot of things that go into that. What if we have a kid? What if we live in a home together? Like, certain things that are, like, bigger than just the question, right? So maybe you can get past it with a conversation. It just depends. Circumstantial. I feel her, though. If I were her and it was just, like, we were fresh and it was nothing too serious and you asked me that to test me, I kind of side-eye you after that. Like, do you know me? Like, do you really know me that you even had to do that? Or, like, Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, shorty, like... If a nigga says that he asked you for money just to test you, that nigga is a front and ass, like, pump faking ass nigga and get the fuck out of there. That was a great decision. Run. Excellent decision. Right. Run. Get the fuck out of there. Yes. That's the nigga that'll be like, yo, I was just playing. Yo, I know I hit you, but I was just playing. Was My just fault. Playing. It was a mistake. I thought yeah. we was joking around. Mm-hmm. Get out of there. That nigga's a crazy nigga. <laughs> so, Brown Skates was with, uh, Brown Stallion with good. skates on? Good, good job. Good, good get job. the fuck job. out of there. Yeah, run. <laughs> All right, uh, I got some more viewer questions. You got anybody got more viewer questions? Uh, I think Bleak got oh, one. Oh, Bleak had a fire one. Bleak, what's good? Let's see. Ladies, if a man asks you, what do you what do you bring to the table? Know that he's one hundred percent broke. True or false? True or false? If a, man, if a man asks you, Lit, what yeah. you, if a man asks a woman, what do you bring, bring to, to the, the table? table? No, just that he's know 100%. that he's a hundred percent broke. Broke. Ese tipo no tiene nada. Is that funny? I think that's just a good, I think that's a good general meme generator. Mm. Like, it sounds good. It's funny. It's entertaining. Just like all of Justin LeBoy's posts, but it doesn't mean it's right. Is he he a real person? Shot, shot. shot. Pew, pew, pew. Yo, I fuck with your shit, though. (laughs) Don't come for me. (laughs) But nah, I just feel like, like, yo, it sounds good to the masses if we're going to sit here and be like, yeah, yeah, Yeah. like on some toxic shit. But really, like, I bring the table and the chair. That doesn't always mean you broke. Like, come on. Yeah, I true. feel like I feel like we're missing nowadays is uh, what we're missing nowadays is uh-huh. accountability. Women okay. should also bring something to the table. We're going percent. into this as an equal partnership that we are helping each other out mm-hmm. and working together. What I lack in, yeah. you could pick up the slack. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yin to my yang. You uh-huh. know what I mean? You Ooh. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm the piano. You the you the bassist or the drums or something. Okay. okay. You feel me? Together we work together. You what still, if it's like a genuine question? Like they're genuinely asking. Yeah. Uh, uh, once again. Why they gotta be context? Broke? If they come up to me like, baby girl, <clears throat> if they come up to me like, I need this. Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like we'd have that kind of rep, you know, mm-hmm. that rapport. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? That we, if she's asking me for money, here, take it, or whatever. F- figure out what you gotta figure <laughs> out. You know what I mean? It's okay. We are, we're on the same team. I feel that. I mean, isn't like a relationship an investment? Yes. So won't you? What do you want to know? Someone. What you know? What you're investing in? Absolutely. Right. You have like, to look at it. Are you asking your shorty the question when they ask you for money? You ask her what it's for. Are you one of those niggas? No. <laughs> I try my best not to be. Yeah, not at I all. I feel like when you ask but what it's for, you, you don't if like sometimes it's funny after that. Yeah, I feel you're a bird. <laughs> really? <laughs> it might not be a bird for that. I like if she asks for mad bread, then it's like, right, yeah, if you, it's what mad bread. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. Wild like, bread. It depends. If like, what if she's bread. asking you for 10k? Yeah, yeah. And she tells, what if she tells you like, I need 10k? Like, my mom's sick in DR, and I need to go see her. Then I can give you 3k. You'll be like, what kind of bullshit is this? You trying to scam me? You trying to scam me? You should have said DR, baby. 10k. She's I obviously said, getting said some, Arkansas. She's like, obviously she getting some type of surgery. Medicine in the app. Right, right. Something's happening. Asking. She's getting that lipo. She's getting that DR work. Yeah. 10K, you know what that is. That's a down I payment. Like, um, that's a down payment. Oh my God. She's coming back. Yeah. I don't know. Bitch in the world. That's a down payment for the She's waste action. Not back. Dead. I feel She's like not it all depends on the nature of the relationship because if you never gave me money just because and mm-hmm. I came out of nowhere and asked you for bread. 
ah, oh, a decent amount, nothing crazy. Okay. Maybe like a hundred or something. I would want to have the decency to tell you where it's going to. I never ask you for this and you never give me this just because. Okay. So you kind of should know why I'm asking, yeah. considering you never just give it to me. Yeah. Um, And then when we built that relationship and we're just like, oh, here, here's... $30, 40 whatever, to do whatever. Here, here. Now it's a little more like, okay, can I get some cash? Like, then it's a little more lenient. But off this, like, off the get, first time, I need to know where my money's going to. Mm. Like, I Only my short... Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh. I thought you would chill oh. for a second. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll only my word. shorty, only my shorty could ask me for bread like that, my nigga. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you ask me for $20, $10, $5, yeah, let me keep the change. I mean, that's kind of weird. Let me keep the change. But you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> let me keep the change. Give me the $10 and I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm, for getting mm-hmm. a pack of woods mm-hmm. or some shit like yeah. that. Fuck it. No, that's different. You know what I mean? But like, but like, only my shorty mm-hmm. that I fucks with could ask me for bread. Because otherwise, I just think that like, okay, you're a bill now, and this is trash. Like, I don't want to chill with you. You're just a an expensive bill in yeah. exchange for whatever you know. Yeah, but by you saying that, that means that you and the shorty, you know, have some time together. So some some sort of trust, something has been built. Yes. See, for me, if I'm getting to know you, you don't ask me for bread. Mm-hmm. If I'm getting to know mm-hmm. you, don't yeah. ask me for anything. And that would be a red flag. Red like, flag. Like, but once, if I, if we're in an s- official relationship and stuff like that. Yeah. I there's, think a time, I, there's a time. For me, for honestly, because I'm not just, I wouldn't, I'm not a person that would w- just wife anybody for, just to be in a relationship. Like, just for <laughs> yeah. the sake of being in a relationship. So if I'm in a relationship with you, for me, honestly, up to like, you know, like, I think like up to like 500 cash or something like that. I wouldn't ask because if I fuck with you like that and I made you my girl and stuff like that, I I know that it's not for some no bullshit. Yeah. If it's over five hundred, yeah, I'm asking you what you're doing with it. So what if like that wasn't your girl yet, but you knew like I'm gonna make her my girl. Okay. Like we're cool, she's my cool. And, she's and we're sitting in the car one day, I'm dropping her off. Red flag. And she's like, Babe. Red flag. Can I have a hundred dollars? I can't tell you why. <clears throat> you can't tell me why. why? Have the I fact al- that you, the fact that you, you volunteer <laughs> yeah. that, that you can't tell me why right. is a red flag. I would hope you volunteer. Well, maybe it's it, embarrassing it, for me, right? Like I'm not ready to tell you. Maybe you know I'll get there, but right now I'm not ready to tell you. It's a little no, embarrassing because because I might be there ready, but you're not. So mm-hmm. I can't I can't put that I can't put forth that 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 trust yet because you're not willing to trust me and tell me what it is at this point. Okay. So I can't do that. It, I'm not gonna say that's gonna that wouldn't ruin the re, that wouldn't ruin the relationship per se. But you're saying no. But I'm saying no. Okay. If we were still getting to know each other, that's okay. a, that's a no. And we're the relation and getting to know each other is dead. Oh, okay. okay. Who's dead? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Right. Sometimes I didn't you gotta take that. Okay. Right. Sometimes Personal. you gotta you take risks. Money, you ask me for money when we're getting to know each other. Yeah, it's dead. Like, All right, so personally, but what if y'all? How what's getting to know each other? Like, like, what's the time? Give me a gauge. Like, yeah, like what if you you really like yo? Like, I see this person. See the way I, I saw that person. question is okay. That y- y'all were getting to know each other, but y'all was fucking with each other. Like you were gonna make her your shorty. Like it's right there. Like, like right, I said, if I was right going, the, if I was going the, to, like if I was going to already, I, like shit, I said, right? the real, I wouldn't end the. If I was going to already, I wouldn't end the relationship. So listen. So oh, my, wow. if, if, I, if I didn't know that at that point yet, you gotta take. I risks. might end the relationship. You gotta take. Or risks. at least put it on the back burner, or just see what it is. See how it plays out because I said no. So see how you're playing it out right now. You have to take risk on on things you invest in, right? There's gotta be a risk. And a profit I mean, margin, risk reward. I feel that. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. got to be a risk reward. So maybe that's I, a I moment that you put, put that trust in you the make game that risk. to make me want to do that. Yeah, I hope I'm getting to know a shorty I like. I'm gonna make her my girl. Yeah, uh, that's the kind of vibes I have for her. If she's not my girl yet, she asked me for money. Said about a hundred dollars. I look at it with a different mindset. A hundred dollars is not that crazy. It's not. I'm not asking. I don't give a fuck what you're doing with a hundred dollars. What if she's giving it to another nigga? Like wow. she said, she's not. Hold she on. can't tell you. Hold on. She can't, she I'm not even asking you what it's for. No, the no, fact no, no. that I she mean, volunteers that information. What if you find out I'm later? Like, what if you I'm find out like, later down the line that she gave it to another? An, an so another. now you have. Now you know that it was a hundred dollar investment. That's that's crazy. And you out of there and you pull out. It, it was a L. I'm high now. <laughs> it's all good. Mm-hmm. Right. Kim's like not letting us. Ha- Kim's not letting us go with the. Just bullshit through shit. No, She's like, no. no. Next, I'm an intentional person. Yeah, I'm very that intentional. Was the, that was crazy because that was the line. Absolutely. Money, that's the next question. Yeah. 
Yeah, y'all not about to sit here and interrogate me. No, 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 no. I'm going to interrogate y'all back. I feel you. Calm down, everybody. I'm just saying. Blunt exchange. We calming the fuck down because we hot. We keeping it blunt. Throw the X's out. Blunt exchange. But anyway, just to say, like, if... if I So, yeah, I'm giving $100 on the motherfucker, right? Uh-huh. $100 ain't that crazy for mm-hmm. me to even ask you what it's it is. It's an investment. You volunteer that information, I'm going to have that conversation with you right away. Because okay. this is the person I am. Hey, what the fuck? That was some funny shit. Like, like if you said, oh, like, that was some funny shit, Shorty. Why did you say it like that? That sounded crazy. Like, if oh, Shorty that, that said, I can't tell you. Yeah, like, if Shorty said, mm-hmm. I didn't cheat. Like, But I went to go eat. With some nigga. No, no, just like oh. hey, maybe I didn't cheat. And you paid? Like what? What does that mean? And you took my money. And you my paid. You know what I mean? Like I can't tell you what it's for. Okay. Whoa. Why is there something that's a hundred dollars that you can't tell me what it's for? That's what what the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah. Why did you that's pay? What, that's what we said. You know what I mean? Oh, that's what I said. What is I it? Said. What if it's to buy your Christmas gift? I mean, yeah, but you like I said that. I mean, yeah. Nah, but I don't want you to know that. I mean, so then don't even say anything. Then don't I'm tell not gonna me, ask I can't you tell you what it's for about $100. I'm not ask you. You're, you're right. Like, $100 ain't mm-hmm. okay, okay. 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 So basically, the issue is don't tell me you they can't shot their they, they own foot. Yeah. 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 Shut up, Bob ass niggas. Yo, can I get $100? Cool. Plastic. Yo, you can't, I can't tell you what it is. Whoa, why did you say that? <laughs> okay, you messed it up. Like, Got you it, messed up the situation. Now you making it. You look weird. You made it weird. Like, I'm about to give you the money, and niggas is like, like, nah, nah. Nah, you're good. You're not getting the money. Never mind, my nigga. You're crazy, obviously. Um, so another viewer question: How would you feel if you found out your significant other was receiving money from the opposite sex or ex, uh, uh ex, uh, you know, partner? Coño, they receiving. Money. Shit. You said, "What if you? What, what could you repeat? Bugarron what if you shit. found out?" Can you uh, repeat that? You ready? Yes, yeah. one more time, please. What if you found out, viewer question, what if you found out that your partner, your current partner, mm-hmm. love of your life, was receiving money from an ex or a, a, you know, the opposite sex, somebody that, you know, they are in, you know, contact with, like common contact with all the time, daily contact. Ooh, with, wrong shit. You know? This is all new you to you now. Boogahron. That is daily contact. You're just finding out. That is daily contact. Oh. I mean, or you, or you or do they all... might work with each other, no, no, saying, or like, oh, oh, okay, you know what okay, I mean? Okay. Or they, they live a couple houses down, or they're... No, but I'm saying, from... I'm saying, if it's an ex, like, you don't know already that they talk every day, and you're now also learning that they talk every day, as well as getting money from them. Okay. Or okay. you knew, you know what? You let, knew the whole time that they always, they always, they always... You're going to do, gonna do this, so I'm going to reset it up. Let me reset it up, since you're going to do that. I mean, I'm Because I was going to do that, too. Here it is. Were they already getting money? You find out that... Viewer question. What if you found out that your, your significant other, your mm-hmm. partner, yeah. was receiving money from someone else, someone that they used to date, or that someone that has some sort of romantic intention or romantic uh, feelings yeah, yeah. for them? How would you feel about that? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't fuck with that. I wouldn't want her to be getting money, like... She's not asking for it. Or I anything. know, but it's 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 it, that it makes it even worse. Time, too, that makes it all, all that, in my opinion. That makes it even worse that she's received that she's taking the money. It's more of a character hit for me. I don't want her just taking the money because she doesn't it, like. She, not that I'm giving her money. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not giving her money, but like she doesn't need that money. And like it's a disrespect to me for you to be receiving money from. <laughs> I'm taking that as disrespect. It's disrespectful. I mean, yeah, me. you can so take you it to that make way. bread, sure. No, nah, I'm not making bread. That's, that's, that's a way to look at it. Some other nigga. Yeah, like, it's I'm not making like, bread. On, There's like. a difference. <laughs> nah, man. She's not taking Listen. the bread, my nigga. She's they're giving he, her the bread, and she's taking. But it. she's not she's making re- the bread. She's supposed yeah. to re- send that back. I mean, what do you mean? He's what is? Yo, if a shorty comes up to you like, if a shorty comes up to you like, Crump, you do phenomenal work. Here's a thousand dollars. All right. Are you taking that? Yeah. Okay. So, what's but you the said the, the scenario you said is that she had like the, the, Crump, you do the phenomenal dude had, work. The okay, dude had okay, watch this. Watch this. In, in, intentions I of it. wanting to be with the person. Okay. Yeah. You just so, said somebody fucks with my video work l- and no, no, they no, want to pay that. me. I, I didn't say that. Yeah, I said, you? Crump, you do phenomenal work and I want to <laughs> get with you. Nice. Oh, now. Yeah. Come on. What is going on? No, what is going on? Get this man out of here. What happened? I'm paying you the $1,000 for 
for you just because I, I think mm. you're the fucking. That's not you're you the want, cat's pajamas. You want to get with me? She wants to get with me, and she just wants to give me a thousand dollars. I want to get with you. What's up with that? But fuck it. Here's a thousand dollars for I'm your phenomenal taking, work. No, I'm not taking that money because your work is phenomenal. I mean. If I'm taking that money, I'm t- I'm going to tell my girl like, yo, look what I made from this, from yeah. from some. So why can't she do it? From some veni- very generous. Said, so why can't she do it? Because you said she was taking it from she from Mal- Long, and then the generous I, girl on. did. He said that she was taking it from Mal- Long, and then he like then you found out. Yeah. Well, it was. wasn't up front. Be upfront about it. Yeah, I mean, so that, you would tell your shorty. Yeah, yeah. yo, I got. Like, yo, I want to pay you a thousand dollars. Yo, babe, this is crazy. There's girls that want to pay me. They want to be with me. But they want to pay me for just because I shoot good videos. I You're tell them You're never turning no. that money down. So what if your shorty's like, nah, fuck that. Okay, Don't you ever oh, receive I one bet. cent of that. Okay, Don't cool. you ever take one dollar of that. I bet. I won't take any more money. I any got this more? <laughs> I, I got this thousand. I got this thousand. Biggest is let's lying. Get, let's, let's do something. Let's go somewhere. Biggest is lying their asses off. That's fucking cat. My I nigga. mean, you t- you said that at first. Blink, she was yeah. holding. She was holding it, <laughs> holding the information back. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like when you said that, like her rece- her receiving money from an ex or from someone else, it ha- there has to be a reason for it. So if you come and tell does me there that, have to be a reason for it? There's always a reason. You know, there's niggas that just give shorties bread, my exactly. nigga. Exactly. So mm-hmm. why do they just give them bread? Because they want so one day with them, that right? the bitch falls on their dick. Out. Falls on their dick by accident. A bad day, yeah. so, a rainy night, a fucking sad so night. So how much falls on the dick? So then how it's can an you investment trust this? on the dick fall? So how can you trust this person? <laughs> hmm? I know how far can you really fall. trust this person? You don't gotta trust nothing. You gotta trust your shorty. I mean, I understand. I, mean, I think the that's what he's talking about. about that, now, no, he, I think he's, is that I think he's money? Talking about your shorty. He's like, so how tell much her not to get the bread if that's how you feel. That's how you feel. Yo. You said she, gotta wasn't be a reason getting, behind she wasn't money. telling you up front. Yeah, so tell her that's what makes it now wrong. Now you found out, yeah, so don't, don't do can. it now. He tells you it's her brother. <laughs> 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 what if she told you the whole time it was her brother, but yeah, you found out it was her ex? <laughs> that's, and that's how it usually be. <laughs> it usually be like that. It usually be that some sort of relative is giving her money, but at the end it's not. <laughs> Yeah. Hey man, could the you, situation could you, happens. Could There's you accept money from an ex or somebody else during a relationship? Like, what if your man or your female just don't got it and you need a little help to make things go by? Listen, and it happens. Meet? It happens, man. Will you accept that bread? Yo, you're you're 500 short on the rent. She's like, I nigga, I give you 800, nigga. It happens. There's some Jordans bro, too. You. <laughs> you taking that? <laughs> you know I got you. Nah. She what? She ain't doing it right over there. You know I got you. What he ain't do- Are oh, you doing oh, that, he G? Got no bread? G, are you taking that? You asking oh, me your now? Man broke? Yeah. You asking me now? Yeah. Okay. I love for G to me. answer any of these questions he's posing. First of all, that. I found out, and that's the first flag. Okay. I found out. Yeah. Okay. 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 What happens? What happens? You know, with your friends is your business, but I found out, so I'm already tight. Okay. Period. Okay. Um. Like the whole ex thing, no, no. it's okay. Like no. if they were doing this before, mm-hmm. then now I'm with you. Now you're with someone. You don't have to continue it. You grow now. You can make a choice to be like, oh, okay, like I'm good. Like mm-hmm. it's a little. It looks a little weird, even if it's not. It just looks a little weird. It is. How weird. would your partner feel if I was doing that for you and they found out? Like, oh, now you get it, like, a little. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like I found out that's a problem. Um, And I get gifts because I have a brand. So people be like, put that in the pot. This is for you. It's sporadic. We're not consistently speaking. It'll be someone I don't even talk to like that. They just be like, yo, I love what you're doing. I support. Like, what's the cash app? And I'll send it. Bless. Yeah, bless. If my girl... And it happened at the pop-up. Someone bought they shorty a $60 bikini mm-hmm. and then gave me 100 I was like, yo, you give me 160 He was like, nah, put that in the pop. I said, bless. And I told my girl, like, yo, I got an extra love donation. Extra $100. Did you see that? All right, blessings, let's go get some blessings, drinks. Blessings, support. You know, like, it's all, ways. like, yeah, it's Why different. Like, how are, you, how are you like, sending? Like, how are you what's sending the it? What's, what's, what's the, the intention reason? behind intention. sending? Because if I'm receiving it, giving you a false hope that, some, that there'll be that pussy for a rainy day yeah. but you know you're never gonna get it but you wanna send me money anyway like I have to someone gotta stop it y'all gonna keep y'all both gonna keep doing this until y'all married oh, and well, have no. kids rainy day pussy is a thing though like. 
Yeah, that's sure. A, absolutely. Like but uh, sometimes the people who are sending these women money will like never in your, get in your the darkest pussy. hour when you need like, the most. <laughs> that comfort a lot that of the nigga times. that kept that nigga yeah, that was like, that nigga that was ordering you Chipotle. So that nigga that was ordering you Chipotle <laughs> when he was hungry and shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? When your man fuck up. I'm telling up. you what, how I feel about it and however you decide to carry on is going to tell me everything I need to know about you. <laughs> I feel that. Period. Period. Maybe it is. Go fuck. ahead. Like, I already told you I don't like it. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. And if you want to decide to continue doing it and I find out again, I know how to take care of you. Like, okay, bet. Say less. I know how you move. On the expense of me, my feelings, after I verbally told you that it bothered me. Yeah. That tells me everything I need to know. Then we out of here. And then we out of here. Peace. Any, uh, <laughs> any, uh, <No>. any other <laughs> questions? I have questions. Go ahead. Go, ahead. Go crazy. Mm, this one, you know, you I like that. Those classical memes, Bleak? Age old memes? Age <laughs> Wait, hold The on. classic shits. Like, yo, rent is 1200 Utilities are 350 How much should the man pay? OMG. Hmm. We'll repeat that. <laughs> the rent is twelve hundred. <laughs> utilities are three fifty. How much should the man pay? Y'all live together. Somebody better send that cash out ASAP. <laughs> now, because you know I'm a very circumstantial if, bitch. If you keep okay. asking the, so, enough niggas for a hundred, that'll work too. What if I don't got no job? Mm. Like what's our what's our finances Ooh. looking like? Is it 30, 70, 50, 50? Like mm. what you getting annually and what I'm getting? Like mm. come okay. on, man. Mm. You know it can't be black okay. and white with me. So you're so you're open minded, All right, free thinking go. woman. I am a free thinking woman. There you go. See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I like that shit. Yes. Cause there's you know, there's thoughts out there that like a man should pay all that. Yeah, no, I wasn't built or raised like that. But I get it. That's like his, if there are women who are, that's fine that. because I'm sorry, but it's, we got to stop blaming everybody. Like, this shit comes from ancestry. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, way back. Yeah. Like, in my culture, that was preached too. Yeah, yeah the man takes care. Yeah. The man. But that never resonated with me. I said, I don't know. That don't feel right. But then I again, feel like too, I need to Back in the days, too, a lot of the women didn't even have jobs. So, like, mm -hmm. they were stuck exactly. there type shit. Yep. Like, they, people used to be like, people say, like, shit like, um, yo, like, my mom and my dad or my grandpa and my grandpa, they stayed together forever no matter what. Like, mm -hmm. do mad cheating and shit. Yo, shit, mm -hmm. she had to, my nigga. Like, <laughs> there was no way out. Like, yeah. now, mm -hmm. niggas can get the fuck out of their mad legal Zoom. Mm -hmm. Niggas can on the internet, like, divorce niggas. Yeah. You can get the fucking text, like, divorce nigga. <laughs> text to reply. You can get stop served to, via IG. Fucking, like, <laughs> like, you feel me? Messages. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, so mm -hmm. like, it's a different world we live in right now. So, Very you can't different. really compare some of them shits to each other, I think, personally. Mm -hmm. Right? So, um... Very, very, very different. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. So, like, I still think, though, we've gone overboard now. Like, niggas break up over everything now. Like, I don't... I've been bored for three months. Bitch! What the fuck? But isn't that You've today? Everything is on every three extreme. three months and now we're out of here? Extreme. Mm -hmm. Yes. Everything is extreme. <laughs> what? You either go that way or you go this way. Like, there is no that is happy madness. medium. There is no compromise. Like, yeah, that's that a real thing. Madness. It is. Absolutely. That's I the mean, world we live in. Compromising, that's the key word in all of this. Yeah. If you, don't, if you don't compromise, then you don't got shit. Then you're not able to... If you want longevity, compromise. If you don't care that's for the that, key. then you don't have to. And then boundaries, too. You don't have to compromise. Me, there's some things that are not compromisable that's probably not even a word but I'm gonna say it <laughs> there's certain things compromise. you're not gonna there's compromise that, on yeah, that I don't basically tolerate. like don't no you know and that's your personal boundary like yo me personally nah like that's not happening and that's that and there's certain things where it's like yo I'll meet you in the middle first date what's a red flag what do you mean like a red flag you're on a first date with somebody mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. attractive mm -hmm. lord you win good conversation mm -hmm. yep. let's go on this date we're on a mm -hmm. date we're sitting down mm -hmm. there's a table in front of us we're at the mm -hmm. restaurant bada bing bada boom the atmosphere is nice mm -hmm. give me a red flag uh, checking his phone too much mm. Mm -hmm. date's over uh, uh, <laughs> um <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Checking What's a red flag? Like, after the date's over? No, like, a red flag. Or like, he's still uh, checking his phone. Flags, like, ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is over. Wait, I'm, 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 Interest, I'm, I'm tapped. I'm already mentally tapped Interest. out of this. Now, go yeah, on. My... It's over. 
Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Like I'm gonna go home. What do you like? No, I'm saying like what? Re- like what, the checking the phone is too much. Yeah, oh yeah, one. yeah. That's you a red be, flag. You have a red flag. You're on a, out on a date. It's a good atmosphere. Everything's nice. Red flag. Whoa. Wait, 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 but it's just, no, wait, I just want to go back to the to the checking the phone. Okay, wait, real quick, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I got to get back because, mm. you know, checking the phone, there's a lot of different things that come with checking the phone. Mm-hmm. Like, people are addicted to their phone. Mm-hmm. So, it can, it could be that. Okay, cool. It Let's could be, he's it. just like, it could be that this person just can't, you know, they just have that attention deficit If I care enough to question that <laughs> yeah. like yo what's up like if I feel like yo you were mad interesting the only shit is that you were on your phone and I feel like mm-hmm. I want to vocalize that to you because okay. it depends sometimes I'll be like oh well I'm just never gonna go on another date with you it yeah. is what it is <laughs> but if I feel like ah you know what let's see and I'll be like yo you was on your phone a little too much it was a little weird and you'd be like well you know it's I can't I kind of can't help it. it's something I've been trying to okay you seeking help like are you getting the help yeah. are you really trying to fix it or is it just something you can't or do you even care? Do you want to do it? Like, I don't know. It makes me feel this, this, that. And I'm not going to change you for it. So if that's something you don't want to try to fix right now or heal, I'm okay with it. Okay. I just want to let you know I ain't like it. No, yeah, because attention span and, like, if you across some person, if they're not even, like, interesting enough that you got to be on their phone all the time, you know, that could be also that. Mm-hmm. Maybe you, what if you're not, what if, you know, the interest wasn't good enough? Okay. You're not interested enough. No spark. Enough. No spark. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. there was no spark. Yeah, okay. Th- then read, I'm a very, like, I read, you got to read between the lines and you got to yeah. read social cues. Like, you got to know if it's like, okay, it's because I'm a whack bitch or because, like, he really got to check his phone. Like, yeah. Circumstantial. I'm still that circumstantial bitch. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. But if I have that conversation with you and you tell me you're, I'm not a mind reader. Talk to me. And if exactly. I care enough, I'll talk to you. Like, if yeah. it's a first date, like, we're talking about a first date. If yeah. I care enough, and I was like, you know what? I saw potential. He's actually real cool. Let me see what's up. Okay. But otherwise, that's a turn off. That's a red flag, and I'm out. Like, Get nah, off I'm your good. fucking phone. Yeah, like, sorry. Kimmy. Yes, sir. Did you have fun? Absolutely. Would you come back to the Blunt Exchange? Yes, I would. I feel like we have so much more to talk about. Okay, so let's talk about it. That yeah, was man. an easy-ass conversation. <laughs> nah. I had fun. I had yeah, fun. yeah. Okay, good. Anything you want to say, Crump? I enjoyed the episode. <laughs> okay, you enjoyed? You had a good time? I also, no, I want to say something else. I want to point out her makeup. Oh, mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Yeah, no, that ass, I, yeah, because I see okay, the I see the makeup. Start. It's fire. I see okay, the little dots you. on the, does that? Yes, is that's that, my signature. Yeah, that's your signature? Yeah. You do it yourself? Yes, I do. And, and I do the it all eyebrows? the time. Eyebrows, everything. Because I see a lot of that on the ground when mm-hmm. the girls do these eyebrows. Up. Yeah, that's it's like called the, lamination. Lamination. <laughs> Make the rainbow come out of my hand when I do that. Lamination. <laughs> 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 we got you. We got, we got you. Like, listen, I never even heard it. I learned something new today. Every yeah, day. yeah, yeah. It's like the hands. natural Blood brow, shade. bushy look. Okay. You see that? That's fire. I like Ooh, that. Thank Corey, you. you said you'd never do it again. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I have anyway, a question but for you Yeah, I like that. What you got for us? What do you all consider a hoe? Mm. Wow. In this day and age? Yeah. This show wow. about to be over, though. Like, how we got... You got to <laughs> come back now. Now she got to come back. No, we got five minutes. We got five minutes? What's a hoe? Real What's left, a hoe? Left, we got five minutes? <laughs> What's a hoe? Jesus. You trying to say... <laughs> What's a hoe? Okay, that's a good question. Anybody want to jump out there? Or are you just going to leave that I mean, that in this, day, me? in I wanna, this day I want, I want you to jump out there first. You want me to jump yeah, out there? Yeah, she posed a question. Mm-hmm. So to me, personally, we're yeah. just looking at my thing. I think a hoe <gasps> is someone that's loose and Goosey-goosey. fast with it, with no regard, for, like, no respect for herself. Oh, so only a woman could be a hoe? Mm. You sexist pig? Reverse, reverse. <laughs> oh! No, we're keeping it. Reverse, we keeping it. Reverse, I reverse. reverse. I think a hoe... Is someone who's loose and fast with it with no respect for themselves. How how do and they not show respect? Like they'll put themselves in compromising positions and do things mm-hmm. that are counterproductive to their own like uh benefit, like if leaving work to go do shit. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not going to school or some shit. Well that's okay. yeah, okay. That's if that's irresponsible, right? That's reaching. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> you gotta be more of an irresponsible person for that. Having sex with people that are related to each other. Going through mm-hmm. whole groups of friends just because I'm twisted or... I don't know. <laughs> yes. I was bored. I like them all. 
Mm-hmm. That's some whole shit. <laughs> That's some shit. No? I, I just give you a <laughs> yeah. fist bump. What the fuck? Celebrating, I mean, I celebrating having sex with father and son and even grandfather. Wow. I saw the I did, I did I that. Brother, cousin, your own brother. Like, Whoa. that's whole shit. That's that our own brother is crazy. That's yeah. more and than also, that. brother. That's and, incest. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. and also, whole shit. You can't say those words. Incest? And, oh, yes. For real? Right? There's a 2020 just version just of it. Leave it out, though. They have a new wo- word for it? We're just not going to say it. leave that word out. Uh, yeah. Right. Whole shit. Whole shit. That's, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. I agree for so most of whole? it. I whole? agree for most of what you said, but to be honest, it's got to be like a reckless person. Reckless, reckless just, with yeah, it. Yeah, just a reckless, you know. <laughs> you know but most of it, not all of it. That was just a, it's elaborate. What, what was, was too much? What was too much? What part was too much? I don't. Yeah, but no, no, no. To what part be, yeah, was too yeah, much, yeah. brother? You said <laughs> most. Whole, what part yeah, was too yeah, much? Yeah, like the whole brother stuff. And uh, no, I'm just giving you another example, yeah, like an extreme example. Extreme, of whole, that, that's extreme but for me. Whole, nonetheless. Yeah, to me, ha- definitely the irresponsible one. Irresponsible yeah. with the sex. Yes. And the sexual favors. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, sexual nature. Yeah. I feel like it goes both ways because that's how women see us. When men are irresponsible with their partners, right? When they go on and have one, two, three, seven, eight, they'll be like, that's Can a, a man that's be a man a hoe? Yeah. Because he's irresponsible. Can a man be a hoe? Yeah, man Can a man be a hoe? Yeah. Are there more men hoes or women hoes? I think there's a more men. I don't fucking know. Like, I think there's a balance. Who holds more? It's a good balance. Who holds more? I think we have shit? a balance. I don't know. The world, the I world. Think, of, I think, um,. I don't know, because I'm going to be biased. I don't know. I'm going to be what biased. What is a hole to you? Oh, a gardening tool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is a hole to you? No, but honestly, like, everything you guys said was pretty spot on. Like, you know, just reckless, just irresponsible. It, right? Um, because I want to use the term loose. But, uh, loose okay, so let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> this is but I will uh, use uh, the uh, term loose, loose irresponsible it. and reckless right. and just... Let's get ignorant for a second. Let's get ignorant for a second. And, and I, like getting with like let's get family and generations. Yeah. I mean, that's also an achievement for some bitches, though. What if that's or niggas. Okay, cool. That's something that they that's, like. They strive that's, for that. That's so not my business. That's, that? I'm telling you my perspective of what you can tell me it, And I definitely respect it. So, I mean, shit. If that's so, your accomplishment, that's your business. Okay. In my sure. eyes, you a hoe. Yeah. Okay, hey, so how, how many sexual partners is too many in a year? How many? Hmm. Because some people, like, for example, okay, for example, if you have sex with 15 men, are you a hoe in one year? Hmm. From a woman's perspective. Does it matter when you have sex with them? Yes. Does it matter if you have sex with 15 men in the first month and then you don't have sex with men for the rest of the year? Are you a hoe? Damn, that's a hot streak. Mm, every day, one new, one Never, new nigga, dick. It might have been 15 The first 15 uh, one days day. of the month. I mean, 15 and one day. See, that's like, that's, that's a hot streak. That's a little every irresponsible. Every other, like, every other day. That's pretty irresponsible. A new nigga or two every other day. Yeah, that's pretty responsible. That's a lot of rotation. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not talking about juggling two niggas. Like, nah, you're doing a different every other day. That's a bit irresponsible. 15 off in a month. Get it off. Yeah, I mean, that's some holy shit. And quiet for the rest of the year. I feel like verb is not... I'm sorry, the good verb. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm a little high. Um... I think hoe, <laughs> my extent. definition of hoe isn't necessarily a noun, it's a verb, it's what you do. So that's a hoeish thing. You're yeah. doing hoe shit, hmm. you know? That's hoe shit. It's a hot streak. Um, but that's yeah. a hot streak. That's, that's called a hot streak. It's I know, you know, on the opposite sex, it's definitely not a hot streak. It's some hoe shit. But it's, it's, it's a balance. So if you do it, you know, if you get it done in, in a month... Then you got it done in a month, but you know what? You you you're gonna dry out for the next eleven months. <laughs> but are you a hoe? Is yeah, the question. You're done. You you're fucked done. fifteen niggas in the first month. Yeah, spread it out. Are you a hoe? Spread it. Spread that out. <laughs> no answer. Oh, spread that out. In the first month. Are you a hoe? Like I said, yeah. in the opposite <laughs> sex, <laughs> called a hoe. On the other one's called a hot streak. This is the way it's called. You're, you're doing. You're, 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 you're acting like a hoe. Kimmy, you gotta come back. Do you want to plug your name and your uh, yeah, your, your Instagram and your swimsuit line and anything else you want right now? Y'all can follow me on Instagram at it's Kim dot B. 
and follow my swimwear brands at Lila and YC. That's all. Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming. Thank you for letting us in your world. All right, guys. We'll try to do better next week. <laughs> yep. Thank you for coming out to the Blunt Exchange. Thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, keeping oh, the blow with us. Yes. Mm. Episode 28. 28. 28. Oh. Good number. Thank you, Kimmy, for coming through. It's a good number, right? You know, numero. It is a good number. Okay. It's a good number. 28 is a good number. Hell yeah. Good number. 28. 28. Let's um, get it. Bleak, anything you want to say before you got here? New day, uh, wavy seal mix? Anything? No, nothing yet. Let's go. Okay. Nothing Boom. yet, man. This is 28. Crump, anything new? Another million view video, or are you chilling? I'm chilling right now. Okay, yeah, we we're working on some things. Okay, yeah, fire. Putting them, putting them treatments together. <laughs> and I heard they got a sale at the polo store. <laughs> All right, see you next week, guys. Blood exchange. Cheat. Year, it's your girl Kim B. You can follow me at it's Kim B. You just finished watching the Blunt Exchange. Like, follow, share, comment, and subscribe.